everyone and welcome back to my channel or if you're new here my name's Alexa Ray and welcome to today's video guys I'm aware I know this okay I am very well aware that we have a problem over here on my channel it's not us it's me it's a me problem I'm I'm the problem essentially for today's video we are going book shopping at Barnes & Noble this is a spur of the moment type of thing I don't have an explanation I just felt like going book shopping today this is why I'm I'm the problem here the thing is I should put myself on a book buying ban but the problem with that is I don't have any self-control especially when it comes to books that's what we're doing today we are going book shopping at Barnes & Noble it is one of my favorite favorite types of videos to film on my channel it's also like my favorite type of thing to do in general you guys already know the routine we're gonna head into Barnes & Noble scope out the area do a little lap but for the most part we're just gonna head in have some fun look at some cool books it's my favorite favorite thing to do without further ado let's jump into the video Perfect timing to get out of Barnes & Noble, guys, because it's starting to rain. Unfortunately, for me at least, Barnes & Noble didn't have like any of the books that I originally went in there to find. The one series that I am really trying to find, and I found the series in there but not book one, is the Addicted series. It's like the most highly requested book on my channel right now, and I can't find book one anywhere. But we did walk out with four new books, and I'm very excited to share these with you. They are all book wrecked from you guys. Originally, I wasn't going in here to get these books, but when I saw all them I was like I might as well pick them up because they're on my TBR list so the first book I picked up is the summer of broken rules by KL Walther I think this cover guys this is everything I'm obsessed with this cover I think it's just the colors I love the pink and blue together I feel like they're just so pretty together 
next summer read when meredith fox lost her sister claire 18 months ago she shut everyone out this summer she's determined to join the world again the annual family vacation to martha's vineyard seems like the perfect place to reconnect her entire extended family is gathering for a big summer wedding and although meredith is dateless after being unexpectedly dumped she's excited to participate in the traditional fox family game of assassin that will take place during the week of wedding festivities claire always loved the game and meredith is determined to honor her legacy but when meredith forms an alliance with a cute groomsman she finds herself getting distracted Distracted. Meredith tries to focus on the game and win it for her sister, but she can't help falling for him. And as the week progresses, she realizes she's not only at risk of losing the game, but also her heart. Sounds like my cup of tea. I don't know. High hopes. I have high hopes for this. Next up, we have Hush Hush by Becca Fitzpatrick. This book has been requested a few times on my channel. So when I saw it, I immediately picked it up and threw it in the basket because I was like, I have I have to get it. This is what the cover looks like immediately without reading anything about it. I'm just getting Fallen Angel vibe. A sacred oath, a fallen angel, a forbidden love. When Nora and Patch are forced together as lab partners, Nora would rather fall to her death than put up with his elusive answers to her question, his teasing and his infuriating handsome face and hypnotizing eyes. It seems Patch was put on earth just to drive her crazy. But before long, Nora's defenses start to break down as her curiosity about Patch heats up. Why does he always seem to be wherever she is and know exactly what she's thinking? How does he know what to say to both attract and repulse her? And what is up with those V-shaped scars on his chiseled back? Wait, he's actually a fallen angel? As their connection grows stronger, Nora's own life becomes increasingly fragile. Nora needs to decide, is Patch the one who wants to do her harm or the one who will keep her safe? Okay. At first, when I picked this up, I was really iffy because I was like, mm, this book cover doesn't seem like my type, doesn't seem like my vibe, you know? Guys, this is going to ruin my life. Once I read this, it's going to ruin my life. <gasps> it's part of a series? What? Very excited. Next up, I have Most of All of You by Mia Sheridan. If you guys have been around for a hot minute, you know. You know Mia Sheridan is my current obsession. The book that did it to me was Archer's Voice. Archer's Voice, guys, if you haven't read Archer's Voice... It's my favorite book of the year so far. If you really love Colleen Hoover books and you love Colleen Hoover's writing style, you will be obsessed with Mia Sheridan. Her writing style is very similar and her storytelling is very similar. Her romances are so, so good. So good. I'm just obsessed with her. So when I saw this, I immediately picked it up. Most of all of you, a love story that's probably going to ruin my life, just like Archer's voice. A broken woman. Crystal learned long ago that love brings only pain. Feeling nothing at all is far better than being hurt. She guards her wounded heart behind a hard exterior and carries within her deep mistrust of men who, in her experience, have only ever used and taken. A man in need of help. Then Gabriel Dalton walks into her life. Despite the terrible darkness of his past, there's an undeniable goodness in him. And even though she knows the cost, Crystal finds herself drawn to Gabriel. His quiet strength is wearing down her defenses, and his gentle patience is causing her to question everything she thought she knew. Only love can mend a shattered heart. Crystal and Gabriel never imagined that the world which had stolen everything from them would bring them a deep love like this. Except fate will only take them so far, and now the choice is theirs. Hardened their hearts once again or find the courage to shed their painful past. I already know I'm gonna love this. So very, very excited. The last book I picked up is My Killer Vacation by Tessa Bailey. What? Guys, look at these tattoos peeping. I couldn't. I couldn't resist. Tessa Bailey is also the author of It Happened One Summer and Hook, Line, and Sinker. Those are both really popular summer reads right now. I really like her writing style. It's really different from other authors that I've read and I just, I don't know. I'm really enjoying it so far. So when I saw this, I thought I would give it a try. This cover though, this cover is getting me what it was supposed to be a relaxing vacation in sweet sunny cape cod just me and my beloved brother but discovering a corpse in our rental house really throws a wrench into our tanning schedule now a rude crude bounty hunter has arrived on the back of his motorcycle to catch the killer and refuses to believe i can be helpful despite countless hours of true crime podcast listening not to mention a fulfilling teaching career of wrangling second graders a brash bounty hunter and an energetic elementary school teacher the murder solving team no one asked for but thanks to these pesky attempts on my life we're stuck together come hell or high tide I'm just here to do a job, not babysit an amateur sleuth, although it's becoming less and less of a hardship to have her around. Sure, she's stubborn, distractive, and can't stay out of harm's way. She's also brave and beautiful and reminds me of the home I left behind three years ago. Oh my god, this sounds so cute. Are you kidding? I already know. <laughs> okay, guys, that is all for my bookstore vlog. I hope you guys had fun. I hope you enjoyed it. It was a spontaneous bookstore vlog type of day. We got four brand new exciting reads. We have some summer reads in here, so I'll be adding them to my summer 
TBR, of course. If you like this video, don't forget to give it a big thumbs up because it really helps me out, lets me know that you like these types of videos, you like my bookstore vlogs, my reading vlogs, my book reviews, all that fun book related content. And then of course, don't forget to subscribe down below if you'd like to see more of me. I post every week guys and it's basically free entertainment every single week. So you might as well subscribe. I hope you guys have a wonderful rest of your day and I'll see you in my next video.